Joshua 1 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not tremble or be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. When I read these words, I am filled with strength and faith because I know my Heavenly Father is watching over me. Well, I wasn't the type of guy who would wake up in the morning and be happy that I lived to see another day. I was the guy who wouldn't even want to get out of bed because there was no reason for me to do so, because there was no reason for me to live to see another day. Depression, suicidal thoughts, and loneliness, and my sins were dragging me into an endless spiral of hate, anger, and lust. And when you look at me back then, you wouldn't you would just see death because it was the only thing on my mind. You wouldn't see hope. And I hated myself because I was ashamed of who I was. I was hopeless. I was lost. And one night, when I desperately wanted to live and escape the spiral that was pulling me down, I prayed to God and asked that He would send someone down to save me. After a while, Daniel, a very good friend of mine, showed up out of nowhere and introduced me to Christianity. And just like that, he showed me the way toward Jesus. I started to consistently follow this path and it led me right where I wanted, Jesus and peace. As I keep following, I see that God is working in me. He's changing me for the better. He gives me a purpose to move forward. The path that God showed me is towards love, kindness, joy, and happiness. Then I became that guy who will wake up in the morning and be ready to face any challenge coming my way because God is with me. I choose to follow this path because I know at the end of the journey, Jesus is there waiting for me. And on this path, I've met many great people, Christ follower, that have shown me hope, love, kindness, so I hope that on my journey, I could invite more people to join in with me and we could all follow Jesus together. I'm getting baptized because my heart tell me, yes, Kevin, it's time that you follow Christ. It's time that you follow where he wants you to be. And it's time that you trust him and surrender to him. In Christ, I have a new identity. I am a child of God. In Christ, I have chosen a new way of life, a life of obedience to God. In Christ, I have been sealed with the Holy Spirit. It is by His power and presence in my life that I live. It's so good, it's so good uh, to be here with Kevin. Um, there actually could be a whole bunch of you in this tank with us right now. He mentioned Daniel. This is also Mark in here, one of our young adults. Uh, several of, you, of the young adults have been part of Kevin's life, as well as some not-so-young adults as well. And it's been a privilege uh, to be part of Kevin's life. It, it's been almost a year since you've been involved uh, in this church and with this community. And uh, yeah, it's, it's also hard not to tear up a little bit in here. <laughs> Excited for Kevin. Uh, this is baptism. This is a journey. Uh, it's, it's an act we do in, in the Christian church and in this church uh, that symbolizes what's already gone on inside. It's that surrender where, where Kevin and, and us who have chosen uh, to follow Jesus have said, I believe that Jesus has died for my sins. And so the symbol is we go under the water with, as if we are buried with Jesus and our, our sins are washed away. And this symbol of coming back to new life, this new life that Jesus has started in us. And I can tell you, looking at Kevin today and looking at Kevin that I saw almost a year ago, it is a new life. It's a new Kevin. And it's so beautiful and so grateful for it. So Kevin, I, I got a question for you. <laughs> Have you chosen Jesus and believe that Jesus has forgiven your sin, chosen him as your savior, and chosen to follow him as your leader? Yes. Awesome. That's great. Then based on your profession of faith, I now baptize you 
we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It's also our tradition to anoint uh, those that we baptize uh, with oil. You see it in the scriptures where prophets and kings and people have anointed to say, this person has God's spirit with them. And, and we believe that your act in, in choosing to follow Jesus, that the spirit of God resides in you as you invite him to fill you. And so uh, we're going to anoint you with oil and then we're going to pray for you. And so here, I'll, I'll give this back to you. I'm going to say it out loud. I can't do two hands at once. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we anoint you with oil. And we pray for Kevin. Would you pray with me? Jesus, we thank you for Kevin. We thank you that he has made this decision to follow you. And we're so excited with him. We pray again that you would fill him with your spirit. That he would hear your voice clearly and choose to obey again and again what you are saying to him. We thank you for his, your presence in his life. We ask that you continue to grow him, that the seed has been planted and started to grow, that it would just grow into beautiful fruit, a beautiful tree. That we'd see your continued work in him. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.